what is good model squad and welcome back to our channel as you guys can see it is just me bill is actually in the shower right now but as you guys are read by today's title i have been struggling recently and i've talked about it before on this channel and i've talked about it on instagram and i made a tiktok video about it but as you guys know i have been struggling with acne for a couple months now i have been getting chemical peels i've been getting microneedlings done to get rid of my scarring me and my esthetician went hard on my skin like was popping all my pimples and like just trying to clean it out and that's why i do have some scarring on my face right here as you can see i am red right now i kind of burnt my face but this is my skin right now my acne scars have gone down a lot and i've been so thankful for it my acne was starting to calm down I was, I was like oh my god it's finally getting better and it's flared up again i have never experienced acne in my life like i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of backstory i've never struggled with acne i've always had the most clear skin i would have a pimple here and there but i've never had it to this extent and it kind of just came out of nowhere it started in March. I looked back on my phone because I was looking at old pictures and I was like, okay, when did this start happening? Like, did, did my diet change? What type of lifestyle change happen because it just doesn't make sense and as of right now i've been doing everything right i've been doing my skincare i've been getting these treatments done i've been keeping up with it but i think there is something internally happening with me because this isn't normal this isn't normal for me and i know acne is very normal and i just want to say if you are struggling with acne please know that you're not alone and it, it definitely is discouraging when you wake up and you look at your face and you're like wow like i miss how my skin used to be but just know like it is so normal and and even though it feels like it's never gonna get better, it will. I mean, I had the moment where I'm like, oh my God, my skin's clear. I just have to get rid of my acne scars. And now it's flared back up and it is so discouraging because I feel like I'm taking a step backwards. And it honestly makes me so unmotivated sometimes. Like days like these, I just feel so down and upset and just like, what am I doing wrong? And the only thing I can think of is I have been drinking a lot of like pink drinks and I know that contains a lot of sugars. And it's that's like the only thing I can think of at the moment. I don't really know what other lifestyle changes I've changed with because I feel like I've been working out. Maybe my protein intake, I don't know. But I do have an appointment with my functional medicine doctor today. Actually in about 45 minutes. I'm really excited because I am just wanting to get answers. Like I want answers on maybe there's something wrong with my gut. Maybe I have a bacteria overgrowth in my stomach. Like I'm also very bloated. Like these last couple of weeks, I have been really bloated. Like more bloated than I've ever been and I just I don't feel as confident and like I'll go to the gym and I wear like cover-ups now because like I just don't feel confident in myself and I think there's something going on with my gut and a lot of times the gut has a lot to do actually a lot to do with your skin like something's coming out and it's coming out on my skin and I think there's something internally happening because like I said I'm doing everything right I'm doing my skincare routine I'm on top of it like I feel like I've been the most on top of my skincare regimen than I've ever been in my whole life that's been good now there's something else I think going on and that's why I'm really excited to talk to my functional medicine doctor today Not sure what we're gonna go over but I'm really hoping maybe she can get some tests done on me and I'm getting on a phone call with her not I don't go in person, but I just want my skin to feel better. Like I just want my skin to look better. I want to feel better. I want to feel confident again. I feel like it just sucks because anytime I go out in public, I put concealer on. Like I've recently been putting concealer on before the gym because my face is just so red and I'm so embarrassed and I hate feeling like that. And it's the only way I feel good. Like I'm just so embarrassed. It just sucks. Like I don't want to feel that way. Like I want to feel confident and it's just, it's just a struggle for me. Like some days I'm like, oh, like I'm okay. And then the next Next day i'm like oh like i hate my skin like it, it, it it's hard like i just want to be able to wake up and not have to worry about it anymore but hopefully i can get some answers today hopefully we could figure out maybe what the root of the problem is i have to go on a strict diet i have no idea what's gonna go down i'm excited i'm just ready to feel better look better and you guys know my wedding's coming up in february like i have been trying so hard to get my skin the best it can be by february i think that's also stressing me out because it's november and i feel like i'm backtracking again and that's why i'm like okay i need to nip this at the butt right now and see what's going on and maybe i need to do a whole detox i don't know but we're gonna get on this call um i'm gonna kind of record a little bit i'll give you guys a little update and let you guys know what she says but please know you are beautiful you are loved and 
I know if you do struggle with acne and you feel like you aren't beautiful or you aren't pretty, please know that you are. I feel like we all look at ourselves and we nitpick every little detail about ourselves. And I think that's what really is sad because you guys might look at me and be like, wow, you're so beautiful. Like, and I wish I could see how what you guys see in your eyes. Because for me, I look at myself and I and I look at everything. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I feel like people are judging me, but in reality, you guys are the sweetest people ever. And that's why I feel comfortable talking to you guys about this. And I know you guys are gonna love and support me and hype me up. And you guys are literally the best family ever. You guys seriously make me and Bill so happy. And we're just so thankful that we're able to have this platform and be able to connect with you guys. And I just wanna be able to connect with you too and let you guys know what's going on. I've been struggling. I know we don't show that side of us often, but you know, I wanna be vulnerable and let you guys know like, this is me and I'm a normal human being. And I go through life struggles just as much as any of you do. And I don't want it to make it seem like, oh, my life's over. Cause I know people out there have it worse, but this is my struggle right now. And I just wanna open up and talk to you guys about it. So wish me luck on this phone call and I will keep you guys in the loop. Where you'll find gluten most is in like the traditional breads, yep. pastas, like just like those normal sort of processed carbohydrates, like the cookies, the cakes. Okay. So you want to look for things that say gluten-free and what is gluten-free? Typically always are like oatmeal, um, rice, quinoa, like, and then for the breads and pastas and all that, it will have to say gluten-free for it to actually be. Yeah. In terms of like just dairy-free, that's just like milk and cheese. Like I would try to like keep that as out as you can. Yeah. But there are so many good dairy-free like Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People often like better and even like the breads and the pancakes and the cookies it's like there's so many good alternatives now so i'm gonna send you like a big list when it comes to that yeah to check out but if you have any questions don't feel like oh no i feel like wait for my appointment in two weeks just ask like I'm yeah totally here as a resource it's all i do every day so no i appreciate I it like a spiritual question or it could be like hey like i need to know what kind of thing to buy at the grocery store yeah <laughs> Feel free to reach out. The things that will always be in the clear. So the reason why I like just like as a reset, eating gluten and dairy free is because it's like very like natural and social too. Even on Uber Eats, like yeah. you literally get like eggs, like oatmeal, like fruit, gluten-free avocado toast. Like if you're going out for breakfast, yeah. for like lunch, you get everything at Chipotle minus like the queso, sour cream and cheese. Yeah. And then like at night for dinner, you could totally eat like steak, chicken, um, salmon and like the normal vegetables or just like gluten-free grain containing stuff and now there's like all of this good like chocolate and like you can literally eat yeah whatever it's just kind of like what I like about it is it kind of creates this experience where you have to like pause for a second and just like think about it just enough to be like more intentional yeah but you're not like restricting the self it's not like you're like trying not to eat so much or anything so we'll work on that together for sure and i'll yeah, send you some resources there perfect and then the other thing i always put this in the first like appointment yeah email, and there's two things there's this one video on stress and i put this on everyone i'm not sitting here thinking like oh, oh my gosh Mariah, yeah i mean it's this stress thing yeah um, but actually it's interesting because it just talks about how stress stress is so helpful on so many levels it's like your body's way of like come like <laughs> um, um, like rising to the challenge and how like basically like you know with your career it's like stress is a part of every meaningful experience yeah. like it's totally there for you we just want to learn like what's distress and what's taking away from us <laughs> and what we actually need to like let go of and yeah. then we use stress where it's like okay like I feel stress because I'm growing like this is unknown this is changed this is challenging myself yeah so we'll look at all of that and then the other thing that I always put in the first visit is something called the heart-based practice it's just a simple like placing your hands over your own heart and feeling your heartbeat and it's just something to that's such a self-regulatory tool yeah it's medicine in its own right to just like let that coherence right. take place and it just like gives you just enough pause to like go into the next moment just feeling like okay i felt that coherence happen yeah. in my body and i also have shifted into this next moment for the better so yeah no that sounds awesome that over and if you need anything let me know but i'm thinking when do you think you would be able to get in to get labs done 
I can get labs done whenever. So the idea of the labs is just like have a normal dinner and then in the morning when you wake up, just like drink normal like water, don't have anything else and then just go get the labs like drawn. It's like a urinalysis. Okay. Just so you know, so you don't like go to the bathroom right before. Yeah. And um, it's a blood test and urine analysis typically. Okay. But I'll send you like the list of labs and just check into it. Like let me know if you want me to edit anything and then when you're ready for them, just say approved and we'll send you back a requisition form. And if you have any questions at all on that, just let me know. Perfect. Um, I will see if you can get them done like this week. Um, yeah, I can do that. I, okay, cool. I have one more question. Yeah, so take- my wedding photographer has struggled with acne and she was trying to get me to take these supplements. So I'm taking poor favor. Have you heard of that? That I have not heard of that. Like I don't know if I should stop taking them because I don't know if I've seen results with them or what. Like, I don't know. We, when we hit the nail on the head, you will without a doubt see results. Yeah. So I don't think that there's anything wrong with it. I don't particularly like love it, honestly. I don't think that there's anything wrong with it. So if you want to just like kind of like finish it out, feel free to. Yeah. I think we're gonna do better. Oh, a hundred percent. That's why I'm I'm so thankful because <laughs> my best friend, she has a functional medicine doctor, and I had her help me find someone, and she was like, "This girl seems like she's amazing," and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I have to reach out. I have to talk." to her because I feel like I've been trying everything and now I'm at that point where it's okay. I've tried everything and now I need to see what's internally going on. Yes. So yeah. I'm very excited to finally get to the root of the problem and just start feeling better with everything. My body, my my energy, yes. my face, like all that stuff. So It can happen so quickly too. So much can happen in the space of six to eight weeks. Oh, I know. So I know. I'm excited. Well, thank you so much and I'm excited okay. to, you know, read the plans and then yeah. um, get back on a call and talk about everything we'll work on it all and i will send you all of this and we'll go from there perfect so should i start my gluten and dairy today yeah okay i would start and, and i would even start like feel free to see it as like okay I'm starting today but like just like it's kind of like see it as like a every time i go to order on uber eats or i'm looking at a menu just start to like see what is and isn't yeah and then just start to like naturally choose like what falls in that plan and then we'll dial it all up next time we talk so i usually don't like add any supplements on the first visit just because i want to see labs but yeah there are two that i'm pretty sure we're gonna want to use no matter what yeah and one is like this multivitamin it's actually a prenatal but it oh, nice. has like all the b vitamins and it's like has vitamin d and it has inositol which is really blood sugar regulating too and i've seen that like single-handedly be so helpful oh for gosh. acne cases and there's also something called a digestzyme so when you do i have okay that, wait hold on i have to i'm gonna show you this i haven't taken them yet but they're these Oh, those are good. That's a great, that, perfect. I'm going to put a different brand in your chart, but I do want you to use those. Don't buy whatever I'm recommending okay. until you finish those because that is a great product. Yeah, it says gluten-free and, and all that. That is a great product. Okay. Like, that was, that's like my second favorite digestive enzyme. Okay, so, perfect. And I like it when you have like some good things in stock because we may find that you end up liking that better than what I recommend. And then in that case, we just like finish up what I recommend and go back to that. So yeah. When you eat, I would take that. And it's okay. If you end up taking it after a meal, no worries. No okay. Problem. But if you can take it like right before the meal, that's what I would try to do. Okay. And yeah. I would start that right away. Okay. You may notice some good changes. Perfect. For sure. Perfect. Sweet. Well, Mariah, if you need anything, let me know. I'll send you this email. And we'll awesome. Thank you so much. Sure thing. I'll see you Bye. in uh, two weeks. Perfect, bye. So you guys, I didn't really show a lot of the video call just cause she was just asking me a bunch of questions about like my anxiety, my health, just like all the questions she needs to know about me. And I already just feel a weight, a big weight lets off my shoulder. I feel like I, I get emotional and I cry. Like that's just what it feels like right now because she's just amazing. And I can already just tell like, this is gonna be the best thing I've ever done. Oh my God, it's making me emotional. It's crazy to me that I'm finally getting help where I need help. So pretty much for these next two to four weeks, I am going gluten-free and dairy-free. 
or non-dairy, however you say it. I'm gonna start taking digestive enzymes and then my multivitamins that she's recommending to me. And then I have to go in this week for a lab results just to kind of see like what's going on and what we need to fluctuate. Then we're gonna go from there. And I talked to her again on the 21st. So I'm really excited. And she was even saying like, we can hit so much in like six to eight weeks. And by my wedding, I should be where I wanna be. So that was literally the greatest news I need to hear. And I think these past two days, I've been really anxious because I've been ready to just get and hit the nail on what's going on and I just feel like a huge weight lifted off my shoulder like I finally have the help that I need because like I said I was doing everything right and I've been struggling still and I really have been struggling mentally internally just everything I've been struggling bad and I am just so excited to start feeling better and she seems like she's gonna really help with like my energy levels things that I may need more in my body so I have to go gluten free which is gonna suck and being dairy free for two to four weeks but I honestly would rather do whatever I can now just so I can start feeling and being the best so I know this video is probably all over the place but I feel like I wanted to really just connect with you guys and let you guys know what's going on and I love you guys so much and please know you are not alone if you ever need someone just to DM to just send a message to please feel free to message me on Instagram and I just want to hear about your guys' stories things that's helped you or just like like if I you need someone just to like send a message sometimes just sending a message to somebody even if they don't open it feels good because you let all your emotions out so please Please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Feel free to message me on Instagram if it's more private. Like, I love you guys and I'm here for you guys. And I would not be in the position I am if it wasn't for you guys. So, I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you in the next one. But until then, peace. Love you guys.